Hello teacher, hello students. Welcome to today's lesson on the six column worksheet and profit loss analysis. In our previous lesson, we have seen about business transaction and their recording. Let me remind you some of the main points. Business transactions are economic events that affect a company's financial position. Business transactions should be analyzed for recording purposes. Let's begin today's lesson with the meaning of fiscal period. It is the period covered by financial reports. For example, an annual report covers a fiscal period of one year, but a quarterly report includes accounting data for three months also called a counting period. A worksheet is a working paper used to collect information from the ledger accounts in one place. It gathers all the information needed to prepare the financial statements and to complete the end of period activities. Although a trial balance summarizes the ledger accounts, the summary does not show the amount of profit or loss. The six-column worksheet here is a step towards finding the profit or loss of a business and preparing up-to-date financial statements. Worksheets are tools used in the accounting process. Most commonly, worksheets are either six or ten columns. A six-column worksheet contains a company's trial balance, income statement information, and balance sheet information. The worksheet has five sections. The heading, the account name section, the trial balance section, the income statement section, and the balance sheet section. The worksheet head contains three kinds of information. The name of the business, the name of the accounting form, and the period covered by the worksheet. The account numbers and names are listed on the worksheet in the same order that they appear in the general ledger. The order is assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenues, and expenses. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. The order in which account names are recorded in a worksheet. A. Revenue. Expenses. Assets liabilities, and owner's equity. B. Assets, owner's equity, liabilities, revenue, and expenses. C. Assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenue, and expenses. D. Owner's equity, assets, liabilities, revenue, and expenses.
Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. The answer is C. The order in which account names are recorded in a worksheet is assets, liabilities, owner's equity, revenue, and expenses. Trial balance section. The end of the paired balance and the general ledger accounts are entered in the appropriate amount column. Accounts with debit balances are entered in the trial balance debit column. Accounts with credit balances are entered into the trial balance credit column. The trial balance is a report listing the ending debit and credit balances in all accounts at the end of a reporting period. The trial balance has the following uses. Debits equal credits. The total of all debits should equal the total of all credits. Therefore, it proves the accuracy of the ledger worksheet. Depending on the report format, the trial balance can be used as a part of worksheet for planning and preparing the financial statements. Now I want you to do the following exercise individually. You have two minutes. Name and briefly describe the five sections of a six column worksheet. Students, did you answer the question? Good. Let's now provide you the answer so that you can compare it with your responses. The five sections of a six column worksheet are the heading, the account name section, the trial balance section, the income statement section, and the balance sheet section. Students, let's discuss the steps in preparing a six-column worksheet. First, write the heading in three lines, centering each item in the heading. Name of the business, name of the form, the fiscal period for which the analysis is made. Next, write the column headings as shown in the worksheet. The column headings include account title, account number, trial balance, 
income statement and balance sheet. Thirdly, record the trial balance as whole, including column totals determination and check for equality of two columns. Prove the equality of total debits and total credits in the trial balance section. Fourthly, extend the balance sheet items into balance sheet columns. Fifthly, extend the revenue and expense items into income statement credit and debit columns respectively. Sixthly, total the income statement columns and the balance sheet columns. Seventhly, figure and record the net income or net loss. Write the net income or net loss immediately below the smaller of the two totals of the income statement columns. If the total of income statement credit column or income is greater than the total of income statement, debit column or expenses, the difference is net income. If total of income statement, debit column or expenses is greater than total of income statement credit column or income, the difference is net loss. Eighthly, extend the net income or net loss into balance sheet credit or debit columns respectively. Ninthly, rule double lines below the final totals of the income statement columns and balance sheet columns. Now I want you to do the following exercise by discussing with the students sitting next to you. You have three minutes. For the following accounts, enter a tick mark in the column where the balance is transferred in the six column worksheet. The first account has been completed as an example.
students, did you answer the question? Well, let's now do the activity together. The rent expense balance is transferred to debit side of an income statement column. The service fee balance is transferred to credit side of an income statement column. The account payable balance is transferred to credit side of a balance sheet column. The account receivable balance is transferred to debit side of balance sheet column. The supplies expense of balance is transferred to debit side of an income statement column. Let me wind up today's discussion by summarizing the main points. Today, we have learned about how to prepare the six-column worksheet. Basically, we have discussed the steps you are required to follow when the six-column worksheet is prepared. In addition, the following have been discussed. Fiscal parrot is the parrot covered by financial reports. The five sections of a six-column worksheet. The trial balance is a report listing the ending debit and credit balances in all accounts at the end of a reporting period. In our next lesson, we will discuss the financial statements. This brings us to the end of our lesson today. See you next time in another program. Until then, goodbye teacher. Goodbye students.